complex polynomial maps on form. Right now. 
Man, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. So you you guys do the um, radio also? Yeah, we've done a yeah. couple like uh so. Alright, so the music that you sent me, you said it's all you guys together, right Scott? Yeah, it's all dumb. Oh, dumb. Okay, okay. All right. So before we gonna um interview you guys, we gonna go. We gonna let the people hear one one of the songs first. You know, before we close up your interview or anything. And anybody got any questions? Maybe you can call at five seven zero four eight four eight zero seven nine. So the song we gonna play. You have to the song. What's the first? The two songs. Which part on your song would you like us to play first? Okay, so when, I don't know, all y'all want to introduce it at the same time, or when y'all... Well, the ladies out there, they got that passion flower song. You already know. So passion flower, you want to make your knees cower? Go ahead, shake it on top. Passion flower got me hotter than the shower. Coping in November mornings, higher than the dower. Great enough to have me standing tall in the tower. Passion flower. Yeah. Okay. So um, tell us what is passion flower, what that means when you got writing this song. Uh, to be honest with me, whatever you want to do, but uh, I think the, the beat was named Passion Flower, and that's how we came up with it. Shout out to my before that. We started singing the we started singing the chorus, Eric and Kane, and then we built around it. And we thought about it, passion flower just it's just a certain certain beauty that you look for, whether it be a woman or whether it be just something that you enjoy in life. Just a certain beauty that you look for. Basically, it's the inner presence of your beauty, like whatever it is, that's what we want. We understand that you're beautiful inside of us. Passion flower is freedom. Passion flower is freedom. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, um, it seems like you guys are, you know, you guys are doing good together as a team. So keep doing your thing, you know. So what is your next step? Like, what are you trying to get signed to the music industry, or you just trying to do underground music? I mean, we want, we want as much people to hear our music as possible. That's what we're still signing, that's what we're signing. If we could do it without it, do it without it. Because the music is real infectious, but it, when people hear the music, they, they draw right to us. And that, we like that, and we appreciate that. This one will be the mark and just make something that people can remember and build memories on it, stuff like that. Shout out to DJ, our DJ, DJs out there, Blackout, DJ Jam, Boy Out, that's Shout out to the DJs. Okay, so now we're going to slide through to Mr. Scott Morris. Morris! What's up? My good friend, Carl hey. Worker. He always camping with me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I got to show you a uh, little inspiration. Thank you so much. So, you know, like I have your information here as well. So, what is, just introduce yourself and tell the people what you do. Oh, about. cool. What's up? Um, how you doing? My name is Scott Morris. Um, I'm an MC and I'm host as well. I'm an event planner and I also do radio. So, those are my avenues. Um, my main thing is just to make sure I feel with people, also get music out so people can get a better feel of what I'm about, the different things that I've been doing, different experience. Just to have a great time and just leave a big impact on the generation. So that's me in a nutshell. So um, you are MC. What is the MC for people who don't? MCs, you know, what I'm saying proper term for usually like microphone controller, but a, a lot of people definitely have different terms for it, different meanings for it. But with me, an MC is just I guess someone that's telling a story and you know, also just giving people different stories or different messages so people can get a better feel of what that artist deals with or different struggles that artist needs to go through. So I feel like it's my job as an artist just to give people a, you know, a feel either whether it's music that you can relate to, things that allow you to be inspired or just music that you feel is good. So that's just my job, really give people stuff that they can carry on to to spread the message about or just do things that we like to like see behind. Okay, so you do the radio personality um, out in Brooklyn, and yeah. is that in LIU or? Um, so when school was in session, mm -hmm. the place that I usually do um, radio with is at Hunter College. So the show is called Shelly Bell Show. So shout out to Shelly Bell. She was one of the first personalities that actually reached out to me. 
took me on board and showed me different things that I can learn so I can know how to interact with people or even ask the proper questions so that if, this way when we engage in a conversation everything turns out the way we need to. So Shelly Velcho is where I started and after that um, I did City College Radio with Tony Yang and the show was called Who's Next and that was always on ter Thursdays from 2 to 3 and then from I also got to build with somebody his name was on Be Wild so he was doing the um, the Wild, the Wild House radio show. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, we would bring different upcoming artists who needed a chance to get some shine, spread out their music on. So we do that. And I'm now in the summer, I'm doing extreme radio, can can. So those are the different things. And that show goes on from 4 p.m. to 6:30. So those are like the personality work outside of the music. Okay. So how do you relate your music to the music? How do you relate? Um, I'm not saying, you know, do you help them? Do you, you know, I know you guys are in it together, but how do you guys relate? Are you referring to everybody? To so everybody that's good to Um, Well, in a sense, the way I look at it is outside of just relating to my peers, you know what I'm saying, you know, and my family. It's like the way that everybody gets a chance to relate is that we all have common goals. Mm -hmm. We all like do music, and music is our heart and soul, so we put everything into it, and that's how we was able to build. When I first met Complex, the crazy thing, we was heading to the Bronx, but we was able to connect because both of us rap. And ever since then, we was moving around in different boroughs and different places, spitting in many different ciphers, just to get our voices heard and for people to see that this is something that we really cherish. And then from there, I got to meet Ronnie through Mojo, and I'm saying he was always around. Ronnie, I met him actually the first time when we was in the backyard at TNC Studios and he spit to me. And then after that, I kept seeing him again. He was just really strong with his wordplay. And then um, Eric came, Eric came the first time I met her was at Point Painting Poetry. Then she came through, she performed, and she was like the headliner that night. Then she came to everything on. I really got the chance to build with her and see how talented she was. And then Weirdo, I met Weirdo. Now, can I explain? I mean, no, no, after the interview, I'm going to explain how. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, <laughs> <that's cool. laughs> and then ever since then we've just been sticking together looking out for each other everybody gets feedback so there's no like yes man within the circle everybody's telling each other that this sounds good and this doesn't sound good in order for everybody to improve Cause you, yeah because if you have people around you that's not going to tell you what sounds right from wrong then you can't grow as an artist and i feel for the fact that we all have these common goals we were able to relate to each other so much and then build that relationship to where people want to engage with other people, people feel like, oh, we can connect with our energy. You sound like a real businessman. Uh -huh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I learned from Zerman Mudo. See you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> he reads a lot of books. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, Mr. Weirdo, why, why do they call you that? Mr. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Who named you that? Who gave you that name? Before we touch on that, can I go back to the question that you asked Scott? Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. So, this is how we met. I, I was at John Jay, I was a student there, and I wanted to be part of the radio because I was doing music, but I wanted to get connected through somewhere. So I knew if I was on the radio, I could probably see the music. You know, so, <laughs> so then I go to Scott and I go, yo, listen, I want to I join the radio club. He ignored me. He just said, radio club? He said, you don't look like no radio person now. So I said, what? And then, long story short, he goes, you know what? I think they're gonna have some auditioning or something like that at a club. We'll see the club member. Boom. I never got an email back regarding <laughs> the audition. So then he, to make it up to me, he said, you know what? I'm having a show here, like a showcase. I want you to come perform in the cafeteria. And so ever since I performed, I think that's when we started clicking. So, so. you do the radio one still? No, I didn't. I wanted to do it to sneak oh. in my music. Oh, okay. Oh, but so now you didn't have to sneak your music. Now anymore. I didn't have to see my music. <laughs> now he just gave me a shot to perform. So once he, once he enjoyed the performance, he just kept, every time it was a show, he kept bringing me on board. Kept That's a good one. And so now he's a good guy. Good, 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 good. <laughs> he didn't even have to be on the radio. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you get interviewed. Just there. Yo, I was the one in charge of the emails. <laughs> Mr. Widow, you know what? It just comes from my environment. Like it, I you know, I don't, I don't live that environment like that. I was raised from. You know what I'm saying? I grew out of it mentally. You know what I'm saying? I could have been stuck in there and still doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But scars all over me because of fighting and stuff like that. But I grew out of it. You know, I knew it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? I was just doing it to survive. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't be a punk. Be a punk. Right. So my style just became different. Like my friends wear boots. 
and jeans and hoodies that's, that's baggy and I would just wear like clothes, I wear ties, I wear like fancy socks and, and fancy <laughs> shoes sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I've grown into like, it's different from where I'm from. So it's, it's, it's it may be normal to another lifestyle, but from where I'm from it's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Look at me different, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's things, I do things that they wouldn't do, you know what I'm saying? I do yoga, they're not gonna do yoga. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? You see, I just do, I, I'm, I'm like open with it, you know right. what I'm saying? I do yoga, I listen to country music, you know what I'm saying? It's different from what I was raised because my friends, like, they look at me different. They feel like I changed because I just chose a different path. I didn't change. I mean, I did, but mentally I changed. Mentally, they still did. Mentally, I changed. So that's why I chose, like, Mr. Wigg. I feel like it was just a name that I felt like I, felt like I was different from where I came from. Right. May I ask a question? Oh, God. Which one you been doing yoga? <laughs> Since I'm in a room full of 50 women, that's what I'm talking about. It's in a rush. I'm, 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 I'm about to join. I'm about to join. I'm about to join yoga and be weirdo. Number I'm the only guy in the classroom. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with only being the only guy in the classroom. I'm just saying. That's what I'm talking about. I'm about to join other other guys. <laughs> Sundays at 12:15. 15. 15. 15. Sundays. Sundays. I don't even go to church. We out. We out. We out. We out. We out. I'm gonna go back to Miss Fudge. Um, yes, back to you. So, one of the songs is said, right? No, 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 no,
Yeah, and I want people to say, you know what? I enjoyed this one. I'm sign copy. I'm on two sign copies since Scott Morris came on. I'm going to set it on you. Shut up! Look, he tried to use you. I'm saying, we, we both get up, we both famous. I'm going to sign you a tape. You're going to sign mine, you're going to sell mine, and get extra like a couple million because that's how much you're going to be. That's fine. It's going to be like for January. You sound like Lil Wayne right now. Sound like Lil Wayne. Right? Yeah. Look. Damn, girl. Right. I liked you when I came in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you really do. But, um, yeah, so that's what's up. Congrats yeah. to all you guys. Yeah, and especially to the ladies and especially to Erica. Right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, from dealing with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, um, it's, it's a, ooh. <laughs> it's hard. You do get me to cross with that. Shout out to you. <laughs> Bad list. But how about Bad you guys, list. you know, I know she didn't get to sit here, but how about you guys, you know, introduce science other people about Oh, Alright, so let me give you guys a little rundown. So, Angel, she's, she basically has a company which is called YSA, you know what I'm saying? So they're a film company, they shoot videos, they do all type of events, whatever you need it for, she's there for, you know what I'm saying? She's very skilled in that area. So a lot of people... Can you tell people her social networks and where they can find her? I just know YSA is the best way I would love for her. Productions, say, YSA Productions. See, YSA Productions <laughs> is where you can find her. But <laughs> so you can find her on Facebook, <laughs> Angel <laughs> Praise, <laughs> all that stuff. You can hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. I'm not mad at you, but I'll find her on the complex <laughs> video coming in soon. Hey! She wants to do some complex videos. Official <laughs> no speak. Nomad videos. Nomad videos. Nomad videos. Nomad videos. Nomad videos. Nomad videos. You know, hold it down for the productions. Why I say all day? You feel me? Just us. All day. No matter. No matter. No matter. Shout out to the girls in the room. Shout out to the girls in the room. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. What's up, Street Market Radio? This is your girl, Chocolate Nene, here each and every Saturday from six to um, from 4 to 6 p.m. So, right, we're going to wrap it up right now. Thank you, you guys, for coming up. Street Market Radio. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Trey Monet. Bye. Bye. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye. Deuce. Bye.